Hello everyone and welcome back to Slime Rancher. In the last episode, we horribly, horribly killed some of these uh, honey largos. The honey phosphor largos. But we replaced them and everything's fine. In this episode, we're going to be buying the second viable area, which is the grotto. This is another expansion onto your farm, which, where you can like build new farms and corrals and things like that. And I really do like this place as well and this is actually where the phosphorus can live without you needing a solar shield which is something that should have been really helpful in the last episode so there's not really anything out here unlike the other place I think they'll expand on this later because they seem to do that and in this video we're gonna be doing some more exploration because there's not actually a whole lot else to do but there are some areas that have left un been left unexplored which I want to show you guys and I did remember that where one of the other places was, which I was talking about like in episode 3, I believe, uh, in the cave. So I'm going to show you guys that one as well, because it is one of the important areas. Okay, so first things first, we're going to be needing another key, right? So let's feed this guy. So Phosphorus, their favorite is the cute berries, and there we go. I've been feeding him a bunch here and there, and luckily he did drop the key, which is nice. So, the final unlockable area is actually really close to here, so we can instantly, like, unlock that, which is nice. And then we can explore that, Then I think I left, like, one place unexplored after that. This is, by the way, the area that I think leads up to our own little place. And, oh, I guess we'll see here if I was correct. And, it's when I get some collision errors where I get stuck in things. It's really annoying. Let's see, is this the same place as... It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? If there's a giant skeleton here, then yes, it is the same place, definitely. Yep. Is this the very same place? So, I actually wonder if you can, like... You don't have to buy that one space then. Because if you got a key and unlock this, you pretty much have more space already. Which, if you play this for the first time, it's actually really nice to have more space because you can like uh, move around a couple things and play around with some of the things you can buy. I've been playing this for well over 20 hours by now, I think, and let's say I know what I'm kind of, or kind of know what I'm doing here, and I'm not really want to build everything yet. Maybe later. So let's see. Let's feed this guy as much as we can. Okay, well that did not help. So, uh, we have to go up here for that other area, and damn it, I'm getting oh, no. Yeah, these collision errors keep annoying the hell out of me here. God damn it, see you guys there, though. This is gonna take a lot. Okay, so back here, around this area, we actually passed it in, like, one of the previous areas. But you can go in here, this is actually a place that my fiancé found, when I've been here, like, once, I think, myself. Which is why I couldn't really remember. She couldn't really remember it either, which is why it was like a real hassle to find. But I remembered there being a place on here, and well, there doesn't really seem to be anything except for a red cargo. So if you need another key, this is where you can get one. Uh, I recommend throwing mint mangoes at it, because you only need 25 instead of 15 other fruits. Or no, not mint mangoes, the orca orcas. The mint mangoes were for the honey slimes. Favorite foods. Amazing, right? So there are achievements in this game. I actually looked at this, uh, and a lot of them are pretty insane. Some of them you can't even get. There's one achievement that literally one should go to, like, I think it was the Glass Desert or something. That area is not even in the game. I actually had to look it up. I just looked it up, but it's not. So, let's see. Let's actually buy the final remainders of these perks so every day you'll get a couple of new ones we're only on day six so we're not gonna get them all right but then we got the dash which you can run for longer so it takes less we got the tank booster here which carry it was now we can carry up to 30 items we have more energy more health and the pulse wave is how well it pretty much like you can use your gun as, like, an actual somewhat of a gun. If it makes sense. I, I don't know. Anyway, 
I want to end the episode here. I actually want to kind of end this series here for right now. I'm going to continue doing this series, but not like as frequent. Because there's not really anything else for us really to do. Except build a couple things and grind out those perks. So I'm going to be waiting for an update. And hopefully they'll release one soon. Because the last update was last week, I think. So I don't know if they're... Or last week me recording this. I don't know if they will update it soon but if they do i'll record something if it's interesting enough hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all next time bye everyone <laughs>